Hey everybody, Will here, and today we are looking at the smart mirror or screen share ability that your smart board VX75 version 3, it's a lot of numbers put together, but anyways, that's what we're looking at today. So to do that, all you have to do is click your screen share option down here, and you're going to be greeted with this screen here. Now you can uh, operate this in several ways. You can open up a browser and go to smartmirror.link and enter in your session ID. Or you can open up the app, which is pre-installed onto your computer. If you do not have this app pre-installed onto your computer, go to smartmirror.link, and then in the upper right-hand side, it's going to say downloads, and I'll show you that in a second. So let's go ahead and take a look over here. So in our browser, we can go to that smartmirror.link. And again, you can see there's the option for downloads download on Windows or Mac, or you can download this from the iOS App Store or Google Play App Store. In this case, since we already have it, what I could do is type in that session ID. In this case, mine is 449102, and then I would type in my name and click Connect. However, I'm going to go through the app, which mine is pinned to the taskbar. If yours is not pinned to the taskbar, all you can do is click the search and then search for your Smart Mirror app. It is important to note that this is the Smart Mirror app and not the Smart Screen Share app, which does not work with these boards. So let's go ahead and open that up. And you can see it's very similar to the website that we were just on. So my session ID is 449102. And I can type in my name here and click enter. It's going to ask you what type of connection you would want. In this case, I'm just going to go with the faster performance and click confirm. So you can see now that I am in the screen share ability, I have this ability in session to share my screen, share some items, or exit out. Now let's jump back out of this to see what it looks like on our smart board. You can see here, I'm still in the screen share smart mirror app. And right here now it says Will is connected and I have four slots available. So what's nice about this is say I have my computer connected, but also I want to connect an iPad onto this. And maybe I want to have a student who's presenting jump onto this as well. They could do so and then share their screen at the time. When I'm ready to share my screen, I'm going to share it. And you can see now my screen over here is being shared. So this is what it looks like. I could go through, I can actually interact with stuff on here. So say I want to go to my NWEA. So as you can see, it's all touch screen. I can click on that and it all works the same, all without wires. Let's go ahead and get rid of that Brave ad for me. And then of course, if I want to, I could keep working on this. Now you'll notice that it is a little grainy because it is streaming at the 720p quality for faster streaming. Say I'm doing something that doesn't require a lot of precision. Maybe I'm just pulling up some images. If I wanted to change that and make this look really clear, I would choose that highest quality version, which would stream, uh, stream at the 1080p. Fair warning though, it might get a little jittery sometimes. So do keep that in mind. Say in this instance that I'm ready to get out of screen sharing. So on my computer. So now you can see here when I'm ready to stop presenting, I can click stop presenting. And just like that, I'm out of it. So another thing you can do, if you notice down here, there's an option that says menu. Move you over like that. It says menu right down here. If I click on that menu, it's going to give me my whiteboard features here. I can take screenshots of whatever I'm doing on here. I can go to my whiteboard. So it directly backs out of it. Uh, well, it doesn't back out of it, excuse me. It creates a whiteboard screen on my display. I click menu again, I can click that home, and it kicks me out of presenting. So for instance, say you have a student that's presenting, but they're not exiting out, you would click that uh, menu and then click that home to jump out of it. Good. All right, a new thing you can see down here as well is we have, get this camera to track a little better, uh, if we click on the settings, this does give you a way to rename your room for your board, uh, and then you can just type that in to the room number or your name. Uh, over here, your session management, there's a moderator mode. What this does is, 
Uh, attendees in your app, so if you are having students present, they can only display as long as you say they can display. Here we can see our network connections. We have an AirPlay receiver and cloud connections, and then also our security. Mainly, you don't have to worry about any of these. If you would like to require a pen to connect, however, so someone in another room doesn't accidentally jump onto your board, for some reason they have your code, uh, you can select that there. And then, of course, let's exit out of that. If you would like to change this number, you can create a new session, click a new session, and it's going to kick everyone out who's joined onto your board. And now you can see we have a new number over here. All right, well, this has been the crash course tutorial on using the Smart Mirror app. If you have found this video useful, please let me know by hitting that like button on YouTube. If you have any questions, if you're watching this as part of CCLS, you can always email me directly. Or if you found this on YouTube, you can leave those questions in the comment section below. And as always, thanks for watching.